Hi guys, it's Lapis here, back again for another DPL game. Yes, I am actually still recording these. I did forget, but we're back now. Um, this is week four game. Um, decided to bench myself week two and three to let Sablo play, as only one of us can play per week, unfortunately. Um, and then came back out for week four versus the Big Gap gang. Um, playing Oras this time. Um, Gen 6 is the one that I feel... Uh, bit more comfortable in. I guess I feel just as comfortable in both of them, but I want to play Auras, um, and I got matched up against Love Chance. Uh, we've got pretty similar builds here, um, pretty close to a mirror match. Um, big things to note though is of course that Mega Zam is going to be a bit more threatening to me just because of its speed tier, and um, the Landris could be a bit problematic, um, but I feel like I do have the slight advantage as far as this goes. Uh, just because Gardevoir looks uh, really menacing, I've got a better way of trapping his Mega than he does trapping my one. And um, yeah, so looking at the team, uh, the first thing that really stood out to me is something that I wanted to do here was Torment Tram. Um, it just looked really good on paper, even though he does have the Mega Zam and the Suicune as quite solid answers to this. Um, I felt like getting a Toxic off um, on the Suicune with Sneasel and uh, Pursuit Trapping the Alakazam with Sneasel would uh, really pave the way for this. Um, and it really just stops a lot of the things that want to get offensive pressure onto me uh, from being able to do that. Um, so I can just click Protect, click the Torment, um, sub up on the switches and whatever, and just stall down quite effectively. With 12% burns from Lava Plume, um, it's going to be able to chip down things quite quickly, even though it's not necessarily outputting a lot of damage. Uh, 116 speed there is um, for the... Like, Suicune, if it's not running speed or something like that, and the Landorus, I believe. Um, sorry, I'm recording this like about a week after I played this game, so I don't remember all of my spreads purposes, uh, but I did want to be quite spadef for the Megazam, um, obviously, as well as somewhat the Zapdos. Um, but yeah, I feel like Torment can uh, be a big nuisance to the team. Uh, then we've got this Gardevoir set here. Was worried about the Suicune being problematic, um, and I feel like Calm Mind Wish Gardevoir should be able to be a good answer to it offensively. Um, Encore was also suggested, but I feel like Calm Mind would be able to do the same job, uh, but put a little bit more offensive pressure onto the team. Um, Wish there, obviously, to keep healthy so that I don't get stalled down. And then Psyshock Shadow Ball coverage pretty much hits everything. I don't need Hyper Voice coverage because Spirit Tomb it seems extremely unlikely to come, as it doesn't actually deal with Gardevoirs, generally speaking, anyway, and that would be the main thing he'd want it for. Uh, so, even so, Shadow Ball's still going to be hitting it decently well, and Shadow Ball obviously going to be quite difficult to swap in in general, as I don't believe he even has a Ghost Resist looking at it. Uh, so yeah, just spamming Shadow Ball versus like potential Bronze on swap ins is really good. Um, and yeah, this is mainly going to be there to set up on like Gardevoir and stuff. Next up we do have the Scar Sneasel, like I said, this is going to be able to trap the Mega Zam. Um, it is kind of a 50-50, uh, because Pursuit doesn't actually kill Mega Zam. Um, it does about 60%, um, but even if I don't get the kill on the Mega Zam, getting a big chip on it is going to be great for me. It means that it can't apply quite as much pressure. Um, and if I do in the 50-50, then obviously Mega Zam is completely out of the way. Uh, and yeah, Toxic also means that I can catch a lot of his likely swap-ins. Um, he's not going to be likely to swap in the Bronzong or anything like that. Uh, he's more likely to swap in the Suicune or the Gerda, so I can get the Toxic off into both of those things. Gerda, obviously, a little bit scary to Toxic because it could have the Guts, uh, but Zapdos should be a fairly reliable answer. Speaking of Zapdos, we have that here. Um, Got Metal Sound here um, just to ensure that I can break through the Suicune every time. 64 PP and a Sound move, so it goes through Sub. Um, so it's going to be very difficult for Suicune to set up Calm Minds on me, as I can, of course, just Metal Sound, weaken them down, uh, put a lot of pressure on that way. I'm um, not going to be getting PP stored with Metal Sound either. Um, also, have uh, two attacks. I did kind of want Heat Wave, but I felt like Discharge should be doing enough damage to the Bronzong anyway. Um, so Discharge and Power Ice is pretty much covering every single Pokemon. Um, 
Metal Sound is a good clickable move on a lot of swap-ins too, because then I can hit them hard with whatever move afterwards the next turn, so I don't need to necessarily predict a potential Rose Raid coming in, I can just click Metal Sound and then Impel Ice the next turn, or if Storm Zong is Metal Sound, Discharge doing twice as much damage, etc. Um, then we have here, kind of defensive, Bulky Chomp. Um, quite spadef invested because I can live a Zam hit this way and Crunch does a lot of damage to it. Uh, no stabs or anything like that. Um, Crunch is going to be the main thing I'm going to be relying on there. Um, I don't think Zapdos will swap in because Stone Edge seems like a very obvious thing. Uh, I'm not doing a ton of damage to Landris anyway and like both of those Pokemon I can Toxic anyway along with the Suicune too. So like any of those three Pokemon if they want to come in on the Guard Shomp to try to wall it, get a Toxic anyway. Uh, so Bronton was pretty much the only Pokemon that I really needed to hit. Um, so Crunch does pretty decent chip, it's like a 3 hit KO versus the more speed death ones. Um, I think it's a 4 hit KO if it's Fizz death just barely, but it might be a 3 hit KO. Um, but yeah, should be able to get up rocks quite consistently, um, get Toxics onto a lot of things, to get a raw um, against a lot of his setup, like it lives a plus two Lando EQ, it lives a plus one Mega Zam Psychic, stuff like that, so can deal with any setup, especially from like Gerda, Bulk Up or whatever if he wants to bring that, he shouldn't, but just in case we do have that. And then the final mod, um, decided to bring the Roselia here. Uh, Suicune just didn't look like a particular... It, Suicune was fine. Like, it deals with Landorus um, to an extent. It deals with Zam to an extent. It, like... But just, like, makes playing against his Suicune annoying, and it gives, like, Rose Raid, T-Spike opportunities and whatnot, and, like, Zap. It's just... It's, like, an annoying Pokemon to have to play with, um, having two of them on the field. It puts a lot more of an onus on who's getting Skull Burns. Um, so I felt like Roselia would be able to give more control in the game. Um, so Roselia is going to be able to be a good pivot on Suicune, um, good pivot on the Zapdos, uh, and get up T-Spikes, which is really nice. Um, obviously, there is a Roserade to absorb the T-Spikes. Um, Roserade's almost guaranteed to come, realistically. Um, even It's not necessarily the best versus my team, but it's like it feels like a pretty much set bring in my eyes, um, but even getting the Roserade in on Roselia, um, I'm going to be bulkier than it with the Eviolite, I'm still going to be doing a lot of damage with the Sludge Bomb, uh, Max Special Attack Modest will do a lot of damage to the Roserade, so if he feels pressure to bring the Roserade in instead of the Bronzong for whatever reason, uh, then I'm in a good spot. You will notice that I am walled by Bronzong, uh, which is a little bit unfortunate because obviously I want to get chip on Bronzong quite badly for the Gardevoir to put in work, um, as Gardevoir does like seem to be the main win con on the team um, outside of like Torment Tram. Uh, but I couldn't really fit it. I wanted Toxic Spikes quite badly to um, apply more pressure to the Suicune and to the. Um, Mega Zam for the Heatran, but more importantly, pressure in that Roserade, um, so that I don't need to worry about, like, Scarf Roserade. I can scout out the set, so if it's, like, Scarf Roserade or um, Pay Up a Berry Roserade or anything like that, then I can deal with it accordingly. Um, whereas just having it be an unknown factor that just stays in the back would be quite annoying to have to play around. Um, so, yeah, that's the team. Um, going into the game here, uh, we'll swap scenes here. I don't fully remember how this game goes, um, so we'll just uh, play it through. I decided to leave Garchomp uh, because I just want my rocks up pretty much as soon as possible. I want to put the pressure onto the Zapdos um, quite quickly because uh, pressure Zapdos does look to be a little bit annoying for things. Um, it can live a fair few hits. Um, just rocks look good in general, and uh, it leads well versus every lead um, except for like potential Suicune, uh, which even then I can get a Toxic off on two, which is good trade. Um, he sets up Swords down to turn one and then Earth Grace, but as you can see, I live that and can just roar him out. He does get Zapdos, I click Toxic there in case, no, I click Stealth Rocks there in case he defogs, um, but he reveals to be uh, Life Orb Offensive. Um, he goes into uh, Suicune here as I click Knock Off. I didn't want a Toxic there because Knock Off was going to do a ton of damage anyway to the point where it wouldn't be able to swap into Rocks. So it covered that, and it still also covered the Suicune swap in, obviously, putting pressure on getting rid of the leftovers is good. And if he's Rest Talk, then it's more reward than Toxic would have been anyway, as he does reveal to be Rest there and clicks that now. Um, I decide to set up a Toxic Spikes as he goes into the Bronzong, if I recall correctly. Yep, so this is going to force the Roserade in, um, or like Landorus, Megazam, uh, Landorus, Zapdos at some point. 
uh, which either way is good to get chip on. Um, and I just go for a discharge here as I get the para, unfortunate full para there. Um, as I just click discharge again and I get as the earthquakes. Um, I think he's trying to catch my Heatran, but like I don't really have a reason to go into it. He goes into Rose Raid here as I click Metal Sound expecting that swap. Um, and then I am able to force him out on the potential Heat Wave or Hidden Power Ice. I do go for the Hidden Power Ice to kill off the Zapdos there as he goes back into the Rose Raid. At this point, I want to swap into the Heatran um, as uh, reveals to be Hidden Power Ice, not Hidden Power um, Ground, which is good. That's what I was expecting. It goes into Landris here as I just click a Substitute to scout out his play. Um, didn't want to click Lava Plume because I figured that he would probably be more inclined to go Suicune than to risk Landorus. Um, but I do go for the Protect there as he Earthquakes, and then I click Torment, so he can no longer click Earthquake this turn. Um, I am going to click Lava Plume here um, to try to get a burn on him. Uh, don't want to click Sub there because not really a lot of reward when he probably does have an attack that can break it. Uh, but I do go for Protect there to try to get Lefties back and obviously um, to store down Earthquakes. Go into Zapdos because I don't want to let him burn off any turns and just want to keep the pressure up. Um, he Sleep Talks and Click Scald there. Um, doesn't burn me thankfully, but I am able to get off a free Metal Sound. Um, but I actually go for the Roost here, sorry, um, forgot about that. Wanted to keep it healthy, obviously, so I can pivot in onto the, the Suicune uh, rather than focus on the offensive pressure. But I go into Heatran as they go into the uh, Alexam. I pivot into Gardevoir on an expected Focus Blast, and then I pull the double into Sneasel on the expected Shadow Ball. Um, I this, this is a 50-50, basically, at this point. Um, depends on the school of thought that you're looking into. Um... If I knock off here, knock off is a pretty safe play, generally speaking, because it will kill this um, and it will get a knock off onto something. Suicune is at 88% with the Adam knocked off though, so I won't get any reward on that, but I will at least keep the Sneasel to be able to go for that play again another time. Um, so if he stays in and I knock off, then he will die. Um, and even if he stays in uh, and I don't knock off though, and I go for Pursuit, then 70%, uh, only 30% of the time, um, he will still lose, because uh, he'll miss the Focus Blast, and I can just Pursuit twice. So Pursuit, while it is a 50-50, Pursuit does have the better chances of working out, because he can miss Focus Blast. Um, and chipping this down to 40% is really good for the rest of my team, because I can just Revenge it, and then it's like not really doing much else in the game. Um, unfortunately, I do get the 50-50 wrong. Um, he does land the Focus Blast as well. But I can go into Gardevoir here to Mega Evolve and uh, kill this off. Uh, he does decide to swap into the Bronzong, expecting something like a Hyper Voice, I assume. Um, I'm not sure why he would want to sack the Bronzong like that, considering it was the only thing that was really taking the hit. Uh, but I can just go for Shadow Ball to kill it off now as it goes into Roserade. Um, I do have enough speed to outspeed it, and it's low enough that even uh, that it had revealed Life Orb, so didn't have to worry about that. In comes the Suicune now. Um, I can just click Wish here to get healthy enough to uh, deal with the Mega Zam. Um, and then Calm Mind up to try to start breaking this thing. As he clicks Scold, um, does get the burn, but it's not too big of a deal because um, I'm still at a healthy amount of health. I uh, can click Psy Shock there for a 2 hit KO um, unless he rests up, in which case would be a freak out mind. But unfortunately, he does reveal to be raw um, and gets me into Heatran, which is the only thing that I didn't want to get. Um, I can go into Roselia here, which just does claim a kill now. Um, with Giga Drain, he has no resists. He clicks rest there, um, but Roselia is too strong. It's not going to be able to heal up at all, uh, as you can see, a 2 hit KO there. Um, and he does sack it off there, clicking Sleep Talk, but gets the raw roll. Um, Fortunately, he doesn't pull Heatran again, which is what he needed to to keep this thing alive. In comes Landorus as I click Discharge, uh, but I do outspeed this. I have Sped Crept uh, Landorus and I not Snot Scarf, so I can do that. Here's Yachi Berry, but that's still not going to live a hit. As in comes the Mega Zam. Uh, Mega Zam is not going to be able to kill a Zapdos from full, though, even with like a crit. Um, so I am able to just stay in and click the Discharge. Crit might have killed, possibly. But even then, he would have also had to crit Gardevoir um, and land Focus Blast on Heatran. So it wasn't in his favor at all. And then I can just discharge to kill off the Suicune as well. Uh, so, very good win. Um, at this point in the series, I think we are 1-2. Uh, we ended up winning this series, though, 4-3. Uh, really happy about that. Uh, our team's record is now 2-2. Um, and we play High Jump Kicks next week. Um, I'm benching myself again next week. Um, we'll probably play Week 6 and 7, though. Um, 
just want to get um, both captains have about equal playtime. Uh, so yeah, should be good. Um, see you guys for the next DPL game. Bye.